Hello friends. Welcome to Learner's Planet. Let's discuss about this topic static electricity. Let's first see what all phenomenon are there due to the static electricity or what all uh, are the things which happen due to the static electricity. A few of them. See when you walk across the rug, reach for the doorknob and zap, you get a shock. If you, when you are walking across the rug and just touch this uh, doorknob, you'll get a shock. You come inside from the cold, pull off your hat and static hair. The static electricity makes your hair stand straight out from your head. See, your hair get like this. What is static electricity? In order to understand the static electricity, we need to first understand about the structure or the nature of matter, what matter is composed of or what is matter. There are many more phenomena like say if you rub a comb on your hair and put it over the pieces of paper, the, these pieces are attracted towards the comb. You can get a shock if the quilt is rubbed. Say if you take uh, you could the quilt which you use during winter or when the temperature is low, when it is rubbed you may get a shock there also. When you touch the uh, door of a car or when you touch the car, you get a shock. To understand this, let's first see what is matter and what it is composed of. See, matter is anything which occupies space and has mass. Air is a matter, water is matter, pen is matter, pen lid is matter, anything which has mass and occupies space. This matter is again made up of small particles called as atoms. Now let's see what these atoms are made up of or composed of. Atoms are composed of neutrons, protons and electrons. An atom has a central core which is having neutron and proton. Neutrons are neutral particles. Protons, they are positively charged particles. And electrons are negatively charged particles. Neutrons and protons are present at the center and the electrons, it is revolving around the nucleus. See, this is an atom, the central nucleus. Nucleus is composed of proton and neutron and the electrons are revolving around the nucleus. The charge of one proton is equal in strength to the charge of one electron. The number of protons in an atom is equal to the number of electrons and the atom itself has no overall charge, that is it is neutral. This atom is neutral as the number of proton is, protons is equal to the number of electrons. Protons are tightly held in the nucleus but electrons they are revolving around it. See, there are a few elements, few, the metals, let's take up. Metals like iron, copper, aluminium and all other metals. They are good conductors of electricity. That is, they conduct electricity. How? These electrons are revolving around the nucleus and they, these electrons in metals are loosely held. Loosely held means they can, uh, they are not that tightly held. So an atom can lose electron forming a positive ion or an atom can gain electron forming a negative ion. But the protons are not at all disturbed. So in the objects, where the, these electrons are loosely held, which can lose their electrons, from which the electrons can be given out, are called as conductors. On the other side, 
Say if I am taking a plastic object, plastic comb, rubber, this balloon. In that case, what happens? The electrons are tightly held. And they cannot lose them. So they can't uh, conduct electricity. And they are bad conductors of electricity. Then what happens that this plastic comb or rubber balloon gets charged up and it, it, uh, the rubber balloon sticks to the wall or the plastic comb uh, attracts the pieces of paper after uh, or when it is rubbed on the head. What happens is, see, when a balloon is rubbed on the head, it becomes charged. See, static electricity is the imbalance of positive and negative charges. We have seen that an atom has equal number of protons and electrons and it is neutral. But when this char these charges become imbalanced, then the static electricity results. If you charge a balloon by rubbing it on your hair, it picks up extra electrons and has a negative charge. Extra electrons from where? Hair is also matter. It is made up of protein molecules. It is made up of keratin. It is That keratin is again made up of number of atoms. So when it is rubbed, the balloon picks up electrons. Holding it near a neutral object will make the charges move in that object. If it is hold, if it is held near a wall, these electrons, which the extra electrons it has accumulated, will move. If it's a conductor, many electrons move easily on the other side as far from the balloon as possible. If it's conductor, through the conductors, the electrons can move easily. Electro the conductors themselves, they have got large number of electrons. And that, uh, these, uh, or, uh, these conductors permit the flow of electrons. If it is an insulator, the electrons in the atoms and molecules can only move very slightly to one side, that is away from the balloon, very slightly. In both the cases, what is happening? The electrons are moving away. See, protons are not affected. The electrons are moving away. That is, the balloon is acquiring a positive charge. Right? In either case, there are more positive charges closer to the negative balloon. Now, opposites attract. See, these electrons, they are moving on the either side. They are moving on the other side. That is, there is a positive charge developed or the positive charge is in excess in this negative balloon because the electrons are moving away from it. The balloon sticks at least until the electrons on the balloon slowly leak off. Until the electrons which the balloon has acquired by rubbing it on the hair. Until it leaks off, it has got positive charge. It works the same way for neutral and positively charged objects also. That is why it gets sticked to the wall. When you take off your hat, it rubs against your hair. Then what happens? Electrons from hair to move to the hat. That is that hat has now uh, the negative charge. A static charge builds up and now each of the hair has same positive charge. See, when you just take out the bullet hat from your uh, head, so what happens that hair rubs on the hat. And as a result of which, what happens? The electrons move from hair to hat. And as the electrons have moved, the hair has got positive charge. I told you hair is made up of protein, which is keratin. And that again is made up of Atoms, the smallest particles are atoms over there. And these atoms are again made up of electrons and protons. Electrons are loosely held. It, not that loosely as in the case of conductors. But when it is rubbed, they move. 
Now hair has got each strand of the hair has got positive charge. The similar charges repel each other. So the hair, so the hair try to get as far from each other as possible. Remember, like charges ripple and unlike charges attract. As we have seen the example of balloon, on the balloon there is a positive charge and negative charge because the electron is moving from there. Now this positive and negative they are attracted. That is why the balloon sticks to the wall until the electrons are trans are being leaking off. Now in this case the hair strands have got positive charge. That is these are like charges. So the hair try to get as far from each other as possible. The farthest they can get is by standing up and away from the others. And that is how static electricity causes a bad hair day. You can see this. See how hair strands get straightened up. They have acquired positive charge. See this is another example. As you walk across a carpet, Electrons move from the rug to you. Now you have got extra electrons and a negative static charge. Touch a doorknob and you will get a shock. The doorknob is made up of metal and is a good conductor of electricity. The electrons jump from you to the knob and you feel the static shock. Right? So what happens is when you uh, rub anything, the electrons, say when in this case it's from the rug, it has the electrons have transferred from the rug to your body. And when you touch the metal, these electrons transfer to that metal. And you get a shock. Now this is an interesting fact. We usually only notice static electricity in the winter. And why not in summer? In summers you don't get shock like this. In rainy season, you don't get shock like this. You get these shocks only in winter. Because during winter, the air is very dry. During summer, the air is more humid. The water in the air helps electrons move off more quickly. So you cannot build up as big a static charge. During winter, there is no the water content in the air, that is humidity, is less. Whereas in summer the humidity is more and water is a water with some impurities is a good conductor of electricity. Or so then what happens that the electrons which you accumulate in your body by passing through the rug or by rubbing uh, the balloon, the static charge that cannot be accumulated in the balloon or your body because water carries it off. The, the water carries the deposited electrons. So you can't build the static charge. That is why we notice that is elec static electricity in the winter. So this is a very um, interesting phenomenon you uh, might have noticed in winters. I hope you have enjoyed this. We will be meeting next with some different and interesting topic. Thank you and do have a nice time ahead.